I was working as an orthopedic surgeon since 2000, the last 16 years, God blessed my mission for the work. I thank to the God and to the, my church and to the funds produced from the many members of association. This was started by Reverend Dr. John Scudder in 1817. He is the first medical missionary from through Reform Church of America. He and his wife Harriet Scudder, they started a mission and evangelical work and with children, Henry Martin Scudder, Galen of Scudder, Silas Scudder and many others. And he was died and he was buried Tom Storm of Reverend Dr. John Scudder and his wife interred at SMH, that is Scudder Memorial Hannifer with an epitaph. That is history of the Scudder Memorial Hospital. It was started in 1866 by Dr. Silas Downer Scudder. Then many Scudder families served, and the hospital was exactly built on in the year of 1920 with the help of Scudder Association by Galen F. Scudder, who is a builder in structure of the hospital. This is going on till very good, but till until the 1996, there was depletion in the governance and the hospital started sinking. We pray to God and with the support of God's prayers from the elders and God's power, we have started the reunion the hospital with the word of God, not by might, not by power, but by his courage. There are a lot, of, a lot of policy changes have taken place. Applying God's principle with the support from the CSA diocese and also from CMC, major policy changes have taken place. Doctor salary structure, huge rise in the staff salary with our faith. We have a lot of partnership with the Christian Medical College Bellu. All the waiting patients we mobilized from the Department of Orthopedics, General and Maxillofacial, Endocrine and Neck, Plastic Surgeries. We bring the patients and we start operating and we increase our income of the hospital. Empanelment with the corporate. We, there is a lot of indiscipline in the account sections and other departments. So we reform the accounts department, reduce the manpower, reduction of service obligation from two years to one year, and we stop appointing the new staffs. There are a lot of policy changes have taken place that we reduce the cost of our expenditure and uh, also we reduction in the electricity consumption and we are start scrutinizing each and every bill. More than that, we have made a powerful vision statement with prayer and faith that's to continue the healing ministry of Christ by providing quality, accessible healthcare to all. That is a God's given vision statement. Before that, there is no vision statement for hospital. We started writing this statement 2010. And first thing is, we found out that this great man, the Reverend Dr. John Scudder, a missionary, who come and who started the mission work. He was born on 3rd September in 1793. So we remember his birthday as hospital day to emphasize the sacrificial effort of the pioneering scudders to serving our community through the medical work and evangelism to integrate ourselves with the local community. And this is the day that we thankful to God for his, his the missionary work and the members of scudders who come and work in our hospital. This is a world entrance of Scudder Memorial Hospital. 
this picture was taken the year of 2009 and we found out that in the book of a thousand years in the eyesight written by Dorothy G. L. Scudder it says that Scudder Memorial Hospital was built with the funds raised by Scudder Association and they called it as Taj Mahal of South India. Hence, we want to bring back the whole look of Scudder Memorial Hospital to make like Taj Mahal again, a glorious hospital. And we made a motto as universal and selfish service since 1866. After that, a lot of development has taken place with the guards' presence. Statistics, we have phenomenal rise of patients, OPD patients, 400 percentage statistics rise. All patients increased from 2,900 to now till December 2015 to 12,131 finance that is we are gradually of progressing in our financial work we are giving a lot of charity in our finance one tithe of our charity will go to poor patients that's a income and expenditure in the form of ratio building that required healings. Before 2009, a lot of building in a dilapidated condition, leaking roof, broken walls, these are the quarters. So we thought we need a renovation for this kind of quarters. We approached our local churches, we approached local well-wishers and with our local funds and also we extend our help to Scudder Association. Thank God this is the kitchen of the medical superman where I am living. Thank God with the support from the association and from the church, local church and well-wishers, we are able to renovate the few houses. Still, we lack of good quotas and our panel board is also in a bad condition. We have changed a good panel board so that for the safety purpose of the quotas and the hospital, we have make a good panel board, the low tension panel board. Still doctors, we are lacking of good quarters facilities and once 2012 we approached a team who visited the Scudder Memorial Hospital on February 13, 2012. During the meeting they have seen the pictures and with the direction from our president of the Scudder Association, we are able to contact James Hamilton Tyler. And he came last year, July, and we started soil breaking by him in the presence of our beloved bishop and our staff and administrative committees. With the contribution of 1,075 US dollar, 1,75 US dollar from the James Hamilton Tyler through the Scudder Association. We are able to start our work stage by stage and each phase we see the God's presence in our work. The building is coming up like this so beautifully. This is Six, bed, six houses, four houses or two bedroom and three houses or three bedroom houses. 
pardon me, two houses or two bedroom houses. This house will be ready by September 3rd for the inauguration for the glory of God in the remembrance of our Scudder members, missionaries. These are one of the house in a very condemned and dilapidated condition where the nursing students are staying. 40 nursing students are staying in the house. This is the condition of the quarters. So we started to build the house that same day a visitor Hamilton Taylor, James Hamilton Taylor, in the presence of our bishops we started building the new hostel construction which he budgeted for under US dollar under thousand sorry under thousand US dollar and we are able to mobilize a fund for that up to sixty thousand US dollar and still we are lacking of 40,000 US dollar. Hopefully, by the God's grace, we'll get this. These are some of the ward renovation we started in the year of 2010 onwards in phase by phase manner. And we started renovated each ward so that keeping our vision and mission in our mind, quality and accessible health care to all. A lot of patients started coming with the new ward the new renovated ward. <coughs> we, we visit the churches with the help of their contribution. We started the renovation of the ward. We started new operation theater, the modular system. This is an old ICU, old ward, which is is a, it's a condemned ward. So we thought we can use it for the intensive care unit with the support from the Jane Bathmani Srinivasan, called as a JP Srinivasan. She contributed one lakh US dollar. And we can able to build intensive, very good, modern intensive IC care unit, six bedded. With a lot of, see, we get a lot of support from Christian Medical College Velo. Since I graduate my MS Orthopedics, from Christian Medical College Willow, I get a lot of support from my seniors and the administrative members. And they donated the uh, old used transformer. So we have serviced the transformer. And for the glory of the God, it was dedicated, inaugurated on 3rd September 2012 by Dr. Sunil Chandi. On the same 3rd September 2012, we want to open a new trauma and emergency department. Our beloved Bishop Yeh Rajivalu has did the stone laying foundation and uh, our dream of trauma and emergency plan was like this, fully a conditioned 15 bed trauma care center. Sorry. Trauma care center emergency construction was started by a faith with a proposal of 1 crore 25 lakhs proposal and we started this construction work with only 20,000 US dollar and we, got, we don't have any further money God blessed for this place and we get a miracle from the Christ one of the RCA, Reformed Church of America office from Michigan, they sent 100,000 US dollar for the construction and completion of the our trauma image care center. And Johnny Alibesia, the director for Global Mission, Reformed Church of America, inaugurated this trauma care center on 3rd September. 2013 and right now this is functioning very well our accident emergency trauma care center we are getting 70 percentage of the cases or trauma cases 
70% of our hospital admi admission are the trauma patients. Extension work of Operation Theater. We started this work on July 6th, 2015 because as our works are expanding in a, though it in a short period, our number of operation from two to three operation per day is going up to 10 operation per day. So we are in shortage of operation theater and a lot of patients from CMC, they're referred here. And so we started, we want to build two more new theaters in par with Christian Medical College value. Hence, our administrative committee decided to build a modular theater. This is a modular theater construction work started in the month of October and it was went well with a, our own hospital fund. And CMC has supported this uh, fund as a loan of one crore loan as a fund. So one with this fund of uh, 100,000 US dollar loan from the CMC and uh, we built a modular operation theater and in the, which can be used for CMC patient as well as our Scudder Memorial Hospital patients. So now we started repaying the loan almost 75,000 US dollar uh, payment was made now. This was inaugurated on October 2nd by, no, sorry, February 2nd by Dr. Sunil Chandi in the presence of our beloved bishop. So modular theater, new lights. This is a, we don't have a proper recovery room. It's a condemned old recovery room. So we renovated this recovery room in your modular OT recovery room. Modular OT room for a before renovation and after renovation. All this renovation, the funds was utilized from the general funds. We started construction of the IDBA bank ATM so that it can be easy facility to our patients. This is our IDBA bank ATM. The important work of our work is community dental work. This work is started in the 2013 by our dental surgeon, Dr. Samraj, who now is who has gone for a studies MDS and funded by Scudder Association for the studies. And he will come next year. This community dental work mainly to target the all the oral cancer patients in and around Ranipet and as well as improve the quality and education part of the dental work. So we have did the research in that local people. There are a lot of people who have gone through this uh, uh, or ulcer who turn to be malignant. The many patients have gone to the CMC. The waiting list of CMC patients we are around 700 patients per year and they can able to operate only 80 patients. So it is my dream in future that we should have a good oral head and neck center. So hence we started this community dental work with this area of 100,000 US dollar with our local funds. We have finished the work. This is an old radium ward that is 10 years, the ward is not renovated and it's condemned in a very bad shape. With the help of Scudder Association funds, which is supported on December 2014 with a five lakhs US dollar, that is six, I, I exactly I said about 600,000 US dollar. We renovated this ward in the name of Dr. Ida Scudder Ward on 3rd September 
St. Teresa Isolation Ward, dedicated on the same day, 3rd September 2014. And this is also funded from the Scudder Association for to buy a, a generator. So 50 percentage of money from, that is 5,000 US dollar from Scudder Association contribution was utilized for getting the generator mission. OBG psychiatric OPD was dedicated. This is an area that will be as empty area. We want to improve our quality work in the laundry, washing area. So we got a new laundry mission with 7,000 US dollar worth of mission from our local funds. Renovation of OPD started. All our OPDs are renovated and was air conditioned so that the patients who come from the OPD will get more benefited having the very good ambience. This is a renovated children's board. Corridor before renovation, after the renovation. Dr. John Scudder Dialysis Unit was started, was the first one was started in the year of 2010, 3rd September. That time it started with the two missions with the support from the NGO. Now we got an eight mission. Two missions were sponsored by, one is sponsored by Rotary Club of Lanipet and one sponsored by local company, Mitubushi Company. And with this eight mission, we have got a 400 patients, 400 dialysis uh, we are doing per month. Be X-ray room before renovation and uh, we digitize the X-ray room. Dr. Kerry David, Associate Director of Mission from CMC, inaugurated the renovated X-ray department with, which is digitalized with computerized radiograph. We, have did a, we are doing a lot of outreach camp. We do law 14 to 16 camps per month with the support from Rotary Club of Rani Pet and from other Rotaries in and around Rani Pet. Free medical camps during the time of the Friday's Cutter birthday on 9th December and John's Cutter birthday on 3rd December and Doctor's Day on 1st July. So on the 2nd October, Gandhi's birthday. These are the area times we do the free camps for 3,000 to 5,000 people come to attend a free medical camp. We do ECG for a senior citizen patient free of cost and other pulmonary function tests, uh, blood tests, we do free of cost. The, we, we are planning to make a new entry for the hospital with a good road service and planning to make a 150 arch and also statue for John Scudder to remember his wonderful medical mission work. This is a dialysis unit. So we need a page waiting area for our patients so that patient can sit and also eat in the patient waiting area. We have consecutive patient waiting waiting area with two thousand US dollar. We got a lot of missions. CM, OD missions, operation theater missions for the last few years with around, around 10,000 10, US dollar worth of mission we bought last five years with all from general funds. Some funds are supported by local companies.
ventilator and dialysis machine donated by a local companies as a corporate social response. Our dream of having it should have a solar panel for each ward and throw for all the hospital. I'll bring it in the next uh, presentation for the budget for the solar panel, solar board. Spirometry facilities. Ambulance we we got with the support from the Rotary Club of Ranipet and matching grant from World Matching Grant. Staff bus for the new position. A new pharmacy was dedicated by our bishop on December 21st, 2015. New pharmacy extension counter was also dedicated February 2nd, 2016 with a new physiotherapy waiting area extension. All this cost are from our local funds. We, we, we built a new washing wa washroom for the patients and uh, attenders for coming to the hospital with a cost of 1,000 US dollars from general funds. Children World War before makeover, after the renovation, the renovation, we made a beautiful children's ward so the children will enjoy in the ward during that treatment period. Remodel nursing service station. Many wards, they don't have a proper nursing service station. So during the last two years, we made a all good nursing service station in our ward, our hospital. SMH guidelines book we made, inside of SMH. This is a book I circulated to all the patients, to all the people in the community of Pranipet, Arkad and Balaja to know about the values of mission and visions of Skada Memorial Hospital. This year, uh, in the remembrance of all the missionaries, we published a calendar 2013-16 in black and white format. We started a new website. Please go through the website and you can make your comment that how the SMH is going on. Social media, we have Facebook, we have a social media for about John Scudder, uh, Scudder Memorial Hospital social media. You can know about what they, we are updating the, our daily work. Please join us in our Facebook. And Mission and Missions is uh, redefined and so that we can relook onto the mission and vision and we are approaching towards our national board of accreditation. This is my administrative staff, Dr. Alvin, who is now doing MS Orthopedics in Christian Medical College, Bellur. Asha Noble, she is a principal of the School of Nursing, and Kalpana Baskar, she is a nursing superintendent of the hospital. And in between them, I'm sitting. This is our team of doctors. M many doctors now they retired from CMC. Dr. Banerjee, Dr. Isaac Jabaraj, Dr. Lionel Yanaraj is our medical board convener. Dr. Anand Job, all have retired from CMC. Parasaro Panjaratnam and uh, Nandini Krula all joined in SM Scudder Memorial Hospital to bring back the last glory. So this is a team that now working for the mission and vision to leave the hospital to for build the kingdom of God. This is a Scudder Memorial Hospital. They all conveyed your the wishes and the prayers to your supporting for the hospital for the last 150 years. This is my small fam this is my family, my wife, she's a dermatologist, graduate from CMC, and I'm blessed with three children, John, Jesse, and Chivers. God is thy faithful. Praise God for this opportunity for me to work in this hospital as an orthopedic surgeon and to carry the mission and vision as a medical superintendent of the hospital. Thanking you. This is my first presentation. I'll go back to the, my second presentation as 
vision. What is vision for 2066? I have a long vision, long term vision, and short term vision. Now we are in 150 years in celebration mode, and we are going to uh, release a souvenir on 3rd September. And I want all members of the SCUDDER, President and other members of SCUDDER, to give you a write up about the SCUDDER Memorial Hospital. So, you want to publish in our souvenir, which is going to be released on 3rd September 2016. And we have a long vision on 2066, 200 years, how the SCUDDER Memorial Hospital is going to be. the same vision statement and the enduring vision we are carrying for the least, the lost, the lonely. In a small slogan we made so that all our hospital staff they can know about the value of the mission and the vision. So we started to put a word in a nutshell form like clean and green SMH. That is clean and green Scudder Memorial Hospital by 2066. So with this slogan, we are making a five years plan. First year, five years plan, plan one, 2060 to 2021, making a Scudder Memorial Hospital quality and safety proof. We need a accreditation. It's a mandate for the all the mission hospital and corporate hospital to get the accreditation before 2016 and completion we need a OPD block, new OPD outpatient block because we are living in we are OPD and uh, ward of functioning 150 year old block which is in leaking, is in a damaging condition so and also we need a modernize our OPD block making an uh, MOU with v, VIT alone and in linking MOU with uh, Barefoot of India, Bangalore for solar energy plant. Plan 2, completion of 20 bedded surgical ward, completion of 10 private and semi private ward, provision for accommodation facility for medical superintendent, nursing superintendent, and the principal, completion of medical ward and uh, 10 bedded ICU. Recently, we have a six bed ICU. We want to expand to 10 bed ICU. Development of academic center. Now we have a diploma courses. We want to build, we want to upgrade to degree courses so that our village people get more benefited in joining this mission hospital and empower with our good skills and knowledge. Plan three. Completion of dental, head and neck, trauma center, leadership development, provision of staff quarters, creation of palliative care center, upgradation of SMS, scattered memorial hospital into satellite center of mission. Having a relook of vision and mission, the quality and safety of policy of SMH, we have started now. Already we started two months back with systematic revamping of departmental activities and performance, <coughs> implementing time plan, <coughs> ensuring the value of our mission, executing long term vision. With this entry level of SM. Uh, the accreditation we have completed by last June <coughs> and we are into the progressive level accreditation from July 2016 to hopefully by God's grace we will finish by September 2016 and final accreditation we are planning before end of this year. We, we are planning for a water treatment plant that is our place, it's in the. We are difficult in getting water. Water scarcity is very common in our place. We find very difficult to run 
250 bed hospital with a 40 families are residing inside the inside the hospital campus so we need we want is recycling the water from the hospital wastewater and uh, we started working and we started writing the proposal and we are approaching the many corporates many ngos to support this recycling water recycling water management which approximately it cost 75000 us dollar and we are planning for a master plan of landscaping so that our hospital should look the clean and green smh this is a one um, mega project that we have taken care for having a solar energy project we are having a lot of problem with our power you know that electricity in our areas is a interrupted electricity supply many times during the surgery time or during the critically ill patients on ventilator support or patients who are on dialysis the acute the current interrupted we find very difficult to get support though we have a energy generator with a 250 kv it's at present the overload of the patients and four operation theater eight dialysis machine five ventilators running with 15 bed uh, emergency department trauma care and center it's very difficult to maintain that our supply current supply to the patients so hence we thought of our administratively management wise we can go for a solar energy that is get get the uh, resource current supply of 50 kv of megawatts okay is enough for our whole hospital and the campus so that we can give a subsidy to the government and to the patients also for our treatment purpose hence our fourth we have decided to go for a solar energy project which cost about 1 million us dollar and hopefully by having this project with a one investment definitely we can reduce the cost of 4 6000 us dollar every month new outpatient block though it's a dream of of mine to have a new outpatient block at present we are having 300 op patients are coming per day within a congested area and in the old building the old building with a not a proper facility for the waiting area or reception area there is no proper diagnostic lab center in our new OPD, old opd block and where we are don't have a ct scan or mri uh, center in our place and coffee tray so we thought of our management wise by 2018 we should have a, at least 30 consultation room and 20 specialist room for to attend 300 op patients per day this new opd or patient block which cost about 3 million us dollar 25 bedded surgical ward i we made a blueprint we got approved from the municipality because we need immediate surgical ward so that our all patients and in patients we have to provide a proper bed facilities 25 surgical ward which includes as seven private rooms eight semi private room 15 general beds so far we are empanel with our private insurance company 42 private insurance company we have empanel this overall this cost of 25 bed at surgical ward comes around at 75 lakhs that means an office for accommodation for administrative committee members for medical superintendent and nursing superintendent principal each all those it cost about a 25 lakhs us dollar which comes around estimate cost of 
75 lakhs of Indian rupee. Developments for academic facilities. College of Nursing. We need a upgrade our diploma nursing into College of Nursing. I would like to start the dependent program for orthopedic surgery and family medicine. Since we have started doing, we are we are doing a lot of research work in you know, orthopedics and uh, planning to publish a paper in within the next six months. So it's a time to start our dependent program course and which needs a support, financial support for management to run this course. BSC course for laboratory technology, radio diagnosis technology and medical technology. This is dream of infrastructure for the College of Nursing, medical ward and ICU. 50 bed in medical ward and 10 bed in medical ICU. We need to con we for the conversion for existing 6 bed ICU into neonatal ICU. This is very important in my work. I start praying to God next for the leadership. We need a second line leadership for medical service, nursing service, administrative service, academic service, evangelical service, community health service so that uh, by 2020 SMS will see the new face look of the new leadership so that it will grow and grow and we will reach the maximum. Staff quotas, to, though we got, got a doctor's quotas approval from our management with the support from the Scudder Association funds, we need the good quotas for our staff members and other staffs. Hence, I request the sponsors to help to build the quarters for our staff and the employees. This is a dream of my work that is Dental Aid and Neck Trauma Center. So we have a trauma center for the general uh, orthopedics and other surgical work and we need a specific for now for a dental head and neck trauma center. Though we have a partnership with CMC, there are many patients who are hang on in CMC to get into the early surgery. So by investment of Dr. Sam Raj as a dental surgeon in our oral facial surgeon and we'd like to and with the support of ENT surgery and other team unit we'd like to build here new head and neck trauma center which cost about one, one million, half a million US dollars, sorry, half a million US dollars. Palliative care center, 20 bedded palliative care center to be established to serve the terminally ill patients and the family by providing organized health care service. This is our dream of, our old team of SMS administrative dream that Scudder Memorial Hospital must be upgraded as satellite center mission center to support mission hospital across the country, especially coastal Andhra and Orissa and other areas in and around of Tamil Nadu. So that we are equipping our doctors, nurses, paramedicals by professionally, financially, technically sound. So that in by 2020, God willingly, we would like to open at least five mission hospitals in coastal Andhra Pradesh. So our aim is to believe the kingdom of God with the support of our management. This is, I made a plan in a nutshell format. By 2016 to 17, we want to make an SMS as a clean green SMH with good quality and safety policy of patient care. 18 to 90, new OPD block with 25 surgical bed and ward. 20 to 21, staff quarters building and dental and head and neck center. 21 to 22, new leadership. Transition, new leadership and transition, palliative care unit. 23 to 24, college of nursing, Allied Health Science Building, 25 to 26, Satellite Mission Center. 
and medical surgical medical ward ICU medical ward and 10 bedded ICU this is we did the Skype and um, we did a master plan to build the hospital new OPD block and staff quarters academic center everything for me in the course of next 10 years this is my challenge to build a new OPD block new surgical ward and new 10 bed ICU staff quarters academic center strong faith attract divine attention strong faith sees invisible strong faith silence negative report with this these are the biblical uh, concept I've taken and I'm, I'm working with this strong faith in my mission work he is a provider Jagawa Jare he is a God that provides he provides all our needs thank you thank you for supporting our mission work for the last 150 years I'm really thankful to you all on the behalf of the management of the Scudder Memorial Hospital to support your so far you are supporting in our work with your prayers, with your funds and I appreciate and acknowledge all your mission, missionaries work that you have done from the Scudder Memorial Hospital. Thank you once again for listening to my presentation.